Hello. Uh, I was answering your question about 4-ethyl-2-hexene, uh, the structural and condensed version, and the isomer of that, and the 3-isobutyl-1,4 pentadiene, uh, the, both the structural and the uh, condensed version. And what I noticed in your problem is that, one, you left off a couple of hydrogens in a couple places, and in the 4-ethyl, you left off the ethyl part. In the isobutyl, you put a methyl group instead of an isobutyl group. So what I've done, I've made where you can see what it actually is. I've also uploaded a picture to this board. But your 4-ethyl-2 uh, hexene, so you should have a car... You should have six carbons across. On the second carbon, you're going to have your double bond. In this situation here that I've got showing, I've uh, put the hydrogens on what would be considered a trans position because they're across the double bond. They're not on the same side. And then on the fourth carbon, I've got an ethyl group coming off. That's the structural version. The... Condensed version looks like this, where CH3, CH, double bond two, or double bond CH. And then uh, on the fourth carbon, a CH2, CH3 group coming off and a CH2, CH3 group coming off. Now, if we want the uh, stick figure drawing of it, looks like this. If we want, we can do and change the hydrogens on the double bond, and that will give you the isomer, which is a cis version of it. Then for the 3-isobutyl-1,4-pentadiene, I've got five carbons like you had with two double bonds at each end, but on the center carbon, you have an isobutyl group, which is four carbons with it's two carbons connected to our center carbon that we we're talking about. And then each of them, of the two, two away from that center, each has a methyl group sticking off. Here's your stick figure of it. Here is your condensed figure of it. Uh, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Like I said, I've got a picture of it on the thing as well. Uh, my name's Kevin Bailey. I should be able to help you if you have any further questions. Thank you.